Well, this is, uh, this is, this is where I'm at in life. I hate this. This is so dumb. So, I feel like there's been a giant push for VTubers in the anime community lately, and I just don't get it. More and more lately, if I go on Reddit or even to my recommends now, it's like, hey, you should watch this VTuber, and I'm like, why? What am I missing here? Being the, uh, affluent individual I am, I went on r slash anime's discord to enlist my underlings to kind of recommend me some VTubers to watch. Oh, you know what? I'll have them spam me. And that should do it. I'm warning you guys now, I'm going into this completely dead ass blind because I just, I like I said, I don't really understand what the draw of VTubers is, but I kind of want to know. I want to be part of like, you know, the cool kids club. Oh, and we, we have our first recommendation. That was fast. What the fuck am I watching? Ah! Perfect, perfect. 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 So, boys, we are back. It is day two. I gave them 24 hours to give me a bunch of videos, and I'm gonna look through all of them today. Holy shit, that's a lot of videos. Okay, it's it's fine. This is what I asked for. I asked for a bunch of videos, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go through some of them today, and the rest I'm gonna probably watch by myself. So let's get into it. Let's see what we're working with. So this is just a compilation of random ones, I guess. That's okay. Whatever. Wait, 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 wait. Did she just? Did she just? I'm, I'm. So, wait. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't think that's child friendly. I don't think you're able to say that. I don't think you should be able to say that. Ooh. Drinking pee on live stream. That that makes sense. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not against that. That makes you know. Who doesn't drink pee on live stream? of little anime girls. What are these moon runes? I can't read these moon runes. Do I look Japanese? This is the whole next level of liking 2D over 3D. This is just, you're watching a live stream of not even real people now, you're watching a live stream of anime girls. That is actually cool. The subtitles are vibrating because she's on a vibrator. She's on a vibrator? Shit boy, she got it. Freedom lady, that is a statue of liberty. I live in America, I get that. We're, we're on high quality content now, boys. Yo, but same, my body is a temple. If we're not looting anime, what's the point? I hate this, I hate it, I hate, why? Why is this a thing? Look at the savagery. She sings without music and gets embarrassed. Fucking <laughs> prank, fucking <laughs> showed her. This is the shit, what am I talking about? Wait. This one might be entertaining. She's playing that game and it pisses everyone off. This game is pissing me off. I know it has to be fun. This one's actually this one's actually my favorite one so far, and I don't know if it's because it's a little anime girl playing a game that's made to piss you off, or if it's the fact that I love seeing people get angry at this game. It's probably one of my favorite things in the whole entire world. So I don't know if that makes me enjoying the whole VTuber thing, or if it just makes me an asshole. <laughs> Okay, so I've watched like, what, five or six of these so far, and I think I'm getting the appeal of it. I'm not quite sure. Regardless, I'm gonna watch these for the next week. Because screw grad school, right? I'm just gonna watch VTubers all day, and that's gonna be my life for this week. That's it. I'll see, I'll see you guys in a week. One week later. I did it. I'm done. No more. Too much. Just too much VTube. But I did it. I watched hours and hours and hours of VTubers this week. And what I learned is, I'm a VTuber now. Get used to it. Actually, what I learned is the history of VTubers and how it came to be is kind of interesting. So in my last video for a hot second, I brought up the fact that I love Hatsune Miku. And the ironic thing is, she's thought to be the grandmother of VTubers. And in a sense, I kind of get it. I mean, she went from being just a program to an international pop sensation, dancing around on stage with others like Kagami, Len, and Rin doing live performances. And again, I can admit, I have in fact seen her live and it was a blast. But while she and other vocaloids aren't real, why am I trying to explain philosophy to you guys? You don't care. Long story short, Hatsune Miku isn't real, but the content people create for it is real, which allows us to say, I like Hatsune Miku. Another example is the virtual K-pop group KDA, who has blown up doing live performances as well. Which kind of leads me to wonder, instead of Hatsune Miku, could the gorillas have been the first VTube influence? You can make a legitimate argument that they're not really different from someone like Hatsune Miku outside the fact that they really are 2D. Well, that and they have someone called 2D in the band. And you have an actual person behind them who creates their music. But even so, there are 2D VTubers, so... Honestly, I think I may die on this hill that the gorillas are actually like VTubers now. And that makes me really angry that I've come to this conclusion. Anyway, with something like KDA, it's more like the current setup of VTubers. Because you have someone backstage with an intricate rigging system doing the facial motions, the singing, and movements in real time. So you're probably asking yourself, wait, 
how do they do the whole VTube setup anyways? And it's not as hard as you'd think, ironically. VTubers are either 3D or 2D characters, and the setup for them is really simple like I said. All you need are programs like Live2D and FaceRig that uses your webcam to track your face to your model, as you can see. What's great is that there is a bunch of free programs out there like 3 Teen Wakanari that let you do this, but they definitely have their limitations. All you really need to do to start is have an avatar, which you can create using free programs like Vroid, or just hire someone to make one for you. So most of like the big hollow live YouTubers, for example, use this kind of method. So if you want to have a 3D model one, a lot of times people use things like VRChat, or you can use a program like Luppet, which uses your webcam and leap motion to control your hands. The other nice thing is all these programs have green screens, so you can just kind of plop your VTuber anywhere. VTubers were always destined to succeed in Japan, because that's a country that loves their anonymity and celebrities at the same time. It set the path for Kazuna Ai, probably the first and biggest VTuber out there. I went to watch some of her old videos, in which like the first one ever, she starts by saying, I'm different from you and other YouTubers. I'm better. I'm faster. I will take over your world. Okay, so like, she doesn't say that part, but like, I've seen the Terminator. I know how this shit works. It's just like a lot cuter than what we all thought it would be like. Deadass though, this VTuber is literally bigger than most normal YouTubers. I mean, she has done commercials, live events, has like officially licensed figures, and on top of all that, she's the official travel ambassador of Japan. Do you understand how big of a deal this is? This is like if Trump was like, we're gonna make Big Bird the travel ambassador of the USA. He's bigly huge, we're bigly huge, and trust me, I know Bigly Huge, it's gonna be a hit. I also ended up watching Kaguya Luna and Mirai Ikari because apparently they somehow tie in with Kazuna Ai. They do like the equivalent of collabs, which is kinda cool. Actually, what I noticed is there's tons of these collabs in the VTuber world. VTubers like Rushia, Coco, Pakora, Marine, a lot of times end up in each other's videos. Which brings us to something called Hollow Live. Now, if you know VTubers already, then you probs know who and what they are. For those who don't know, they're an agency who manages all your virtual waifus, like the ones I said before. Hollow Live is like a huge monopoly of VTubers, like the equivalent of the Mudai bot on Discord. Wait, no, I take that back. That's a terrible description. Hollow Live doesn't cause nearly the same amount of salt that Waifu Wars creates. If there's one thing I can say, I did thoroughly enjoy the collaborations between the VTubers because there's just so many of them. And these collabs really introduce you to ones that you may not have known well or maybe thought you wouldn't like. The interactions between all of them is really cute and very entertaining because like they play off each other so naturally, which is a lot more than you can say for a lot of YouTubers or streamers when they first collab with each other. One thing that did pop up in my head while I was watching all this VTube, I am curious as to why there aren't as many big Western VTubers out there. Don't get me wrong, there are a few, but it seems like they're more making VR chat videos as their platform, more so than just streaming and talking at a screen using their character as a persona. Kinda wish I looked at some of the titles beforehand. Painless hair removal and I have a sexy body. I don't know if there's something wrong with me at this point or society. We do live in a society. So after a week of VTubers, I came away with a couple things. These are streamers first and foremost, but they have such a dedicated fan base, you can find so many of the moments from their streams subbed on YouTube, which is so much more accessible to those who don't fluently speak Japanese. So like, if I'm a weeb, I'm gonna like VTubers, right? Well, yes and no. If you're a weeb that enjoys watching Twitch streamers or similar YouTube content creators, then yes, you'll love VTubers. But they aren't just cutely written anime girls. There's actual people behind these characters that are entertaining and not just in the ooh, kawaii desu desu way, which I'll be honest, was what I thought the main draw was originally. They play video games, they do music, they interact with their audience. It just helps that they have a cute anime girl as a figure between them and their viewers. Which makes me wonder if the people behind these personas are actually like this in real life, or maybe this is just how they wish to be. Maybe it's just not possible for them in real life to do this. Or literally, maybe they're just camera shot and this is the one outlet they have to be confident and creative on the internet. At the end of the week, I came to the realization that no, this is definitely not for me, and I don't think I'll be becoming a VTuber anytime soon, although this is pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. But I, for one, will be welcoming our new VTuber overlords with open arms when they come, because I mean, being ruled by cute anime girls can't be that bad, right? Eat this! No, not that part.